filter first or map first? Let's look at the signatures of what we have and what we want. In both of these exercises, we have a list of strings and we want a list of numbers. Now, if you look at the signatures of filter and map, you'll see that with filter, it takes the same kind of list as it returns. So if we have a list of strings and we filter it, we're going to end up with a list of strings, maybe a shorter list, but it's still going to be a list of strings. If we start with a list of numbers and we give that to filter, we're going to end up with a list of numbers, maybe a shorter list, but it's still going to be a list of numbers. Whereas map can change which kind of list we have. Because with map, the signature takes two inputs x and y, so map can take a list of x's and make it a list of y's. In particular, if x is string and y is number, then we see that map can take a list of strings and turn it into a list of numbers. So if we first filter and then map, then filter is going to give us back a list of strings and then map is going to turn that into a list of numbers. Whereas if we first map and then filter, then we're going to first turn the list of strings into a list of numbers, which is the length of those strings, and then filter that list of numbers into maybe a shorter list of numbers. So there are two paths through this picture if we're going to start with a list of strings and end up with a list of numbers. But for some problems, only one of these two paths is viable. If we want to find the length of strings longer than three characters, we could take both paths. Because even after we turn each string into its length, we could still know whether to keep that number. We just keep that number if it's greater than three. But if we turn a string into its length, then we have lost the information about whether that string contains a letter E. So if we're going to look at the length of the strings that don't contain the letter E, then we have to first check if the string contains the letter E before we turn the string into its length. And that's why for the later exercise, only one of these two paths is viable. Again, remember, when you use an abstraction, ask first what is x and what is y.